in front of the fire, in front of the deities for life, then I will follow this, these principles for life. The Prabhupada said, if you do this for your whole life, chant 16 rounds, follow the four regular principles, chant without offenses, then you'll go back to, home, back to Godhead in this life and not have to take birth again. So they asked Prabhupada, well, what if one doesn't finish in this life? Well, do you have to come back? Prabhupada said, yes, I'll come back to take my disciples back to Godhead, but don't make me come back. He said, it's a contract. You have a contract between the spiritual master and the disciple. So you have to, you can't break the contract. If you break the contract, to ask Prabhupada, if someone doesn't chant 16 rounds, then what, what, what should we think? Prabhupada said, he's an animal. Prabhupada wasn't very lenient. He said, you must chant 16 rounds. If you can't chant 16 rounds one day, the next day without eating or sleeping, you should make up those rounds you missed and chant 16 rounds that day. The Lord is working hard in Los Angeles to make the temple ready. They are only sleeping four hours. The Prabhupada got there and said, are you chanting 16 rounds? And they said, no. The Prabhupada said, well, then sleep less. Saying the box is not that he wanted his disciples to chant 64 rounds. And he also wanted them to make dioramas, distribute books, do Harinam Sankirtan, worship deities. So they couldn't do it, so they couldn't chant 64 rounds, so Pakistan said, and sleep less. He wasn't compromising. So Prabhupada wasn't compromising. He first wanted the boys to chant 64 rounds, they couldn't do that. Then he said 32 rounds, they couldn't do that. Then he said 16 rounds, but no less. At least you must do that. In this way, uh, you <coughs> counteract the effects of the material modes and material nature. If you attentively chant 16 rounds, follow the four regular principles, engage in devotional service. Five most important items of the 64, live in places like Mathura, and here is Srimad Bhagavatam, associated with devotees, chant Hare Krishna, and worship the deities. So we're doing these five items every day. So we should do these five items with great care and attention, and this will uh, uh, save us from falling back into the material world, and again, committing sinful activities. So here he says, Prabhupada says, to convince them of the next life is very difficult because they have become almost mad in pursuit of material enjoyment. Nevertheless, our duty, the duty of all sane men, is to save them. Maharaj picture is the representative of one who can save them. So, who's crazy? They wrote a book, who's crazy? The, the, the materialist people think the devotees are crazy, and the devotees know that the materialistic people are crazy. So anyone who doesn't take the Krishna consciousness, he's, uh, he's considered crazy, because all he wants, he thinks material sense enjoyment is the ultimate goal of life. And they think that there's nothing after this life. There's no, you won't have, you're not responsible for your activities. You can do anything you want, and you don't have to suffer. There's no next life. They teach in the schools that life is just a combination of chemicals. So if it's just a combination of chemicals, then we're not responsible. So we can do anything we like. But this is not the same person. The person that the boy knows this is, not, this is not a sane proposition. If someone's insane, they have to put him in a hospital, and it's very difficult to make him sane again. With drugs, maybe there's a chance they can make an insane person sane again. So we're giving the medicine, we're giving the drug to cure people of their sanity, and that is there in the Maha Mantra. Hey Krishna, hey Krishna, 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 Hari Hari. Hari Ram, Hari Ram, 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 Hari Hari. So Krishna says, Sarva Dhamma Pritjaja, Mamai Kam Saranam Raja, Ham Tom Sarva Pavli, Mamokshi Shami Masaja. He says, Just surrender unto me, and I will protect you from all sinful activities. Do not fear. So this is the position of the devotee to be sane and sober and uh, develop this compassionate nature, preach the fall conditioned souls. That's why Pra. Prabhupada constructed these temples. The devotees don't need temples. We can live anywhere and practice our bhajan. But this temple is here 
and all over the world there are many temples. So the conditioned souls can come to practice Krishna consciousness and learn how to be saved from a terrible, a terrible suffering of going to hell. Hare Krishna. Jai Srila Prabhupada Kijan. Srila Bhagavatam Kijan.